Meanwhile, when Herod realised that the Magi had tricked him, he was furious and gave orders to kill all the boys in and around Bethlehem, who were two years old or less, calculating from the time the Magi had told him. In this way were fulfilled the words spoken through the prophet Yeremiahu, Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and lamenting loudly. It was Rachel sobbing for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no longer alive. Jeremiah thirty one fourteen. After Herod's death, an angel of Adonai the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to Eretz Israel, land of Israel, for those who want to kill the child are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and went back to Eretz Israel. However, when he heard that Archelaus had succeeded his father Herod as king of Yehuda, he was afraid to go there. Warned in a dream, he withdrew to the Galil, and settled in a town called Nazareth, Nazareth so that what had been spoken by the prophets might be fulfilled, that he will be called a Natsati, Nazarene. Matthew, Matthew 2 When Yosef and Mayim had finished doing everything required by the Torah, law of Adonai the Lord, they returned to the Galil, to their town Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, and filled with wisdom. God's favour was upon him. Luke 2, 39-40